Join us in building a more fair and transparent future. Visit ParticiaBlockchain.com. Welcome to Decrypt, the series that decodes and demystifies everything blockchain, crypto finance, and cybersecurity. Here we are in beautiful Davos, Switzerland at the World Economic Forum, more specifically at Blockchain Hub 2022 with the Wunder Brothers of Switzerland. <laughs> so to start with, why don't you introduce yourselves to our audience at I24 News? Yes, my name is Cyrus. I'm the proud founder and CEO of Swissborg. Always here to serve you <laughs> and you as well. <laughs> My name is Alex. I'm the Chief Partnership Officer at Swissborg. Also have a YouTube channel called Cryptonize TV. And we are here to serve the community. So just a, bit, a little bit about Kryptonites TV before we get back to Swissborg. Alex, why is it so important to you to run your Kryptonites TV show? Education is the key. We saw what, what happened recently with some of the freakish Black Swan events. Very unfortunate. But education is the key so that we can really get everyone on par, the same mission, the same vision, and open finance to all. Simply as that. Great, thanks. And Cyrus, you just gave a speech today about um, uh, high risk, high returns. Can you elaborate a bit on this? It's very important to really understand that um, you know not one size fits all in DeFi. If you want to go for you know very fast, you have to run very fast, but it's going to be very very dangerous. And what we're trying to do at Swissborg is to say like, in terms of yields, if you're staking on a protocol for for example Ethereum 2.0 for Partizia maybe going forward. Well, that has only a technological risk, a protocol risk, so it's very less risky than start like doing yield farming on a lot of different platforms, which will give you probably a better return, but you might lose some of your assets while doing so. And this is something very important. So how we could say like, okay, if you're meet, you're moderate risk, you probably should do staking. If you want to go for a high risk, you go for yield farming. And what would you say today to uh, no coiners in this volatile market? Should they still be uh, looking at crypto? It's important to distinguish the five different cryptos. So you have the payments, which is like Bitcoin, Shiba, Litecoin, and Ripple. You have the protocols, which is like Ethereum, Polkadot. Uh, you have a lot of different other, Cardano, obviously one of the really cool ones, which is? Partizia. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> And then the third category, which is utility tokens. So such utilities you have like, for example, CHSV token, CHSV token yeah. <laughs> Uniswap and Aave, and they have a usage within an application. Then the fourth is more security tokens like stable coins. So those usually have less risk, obviously, because they're stable coins, uh, besides if they're decentralized ones like UST or DAI. And then the last is NFTs, which are non-fungible tokens, which are really you know collectibles and art that are done through the ledger, right? So these are really five different asset classes, and that's why you need to understand this first and then say which one you like the most. Today you gave a speech about sustainable development goals, which are a hot topic at the web this year. Tell us a little bit more about what you're doing to uh, encourage and realize the sustainable development goals. It's very important that you know we all realize that the planet Earth is, is, is we're not just hosts, we really are part of the planet. And if, if we're not developing in a good way, Look what's happening. There's wars. There's the economy is going to to zero. Uh, inflation, stagflation. Uh, there's global warming. So crypto has a big play, right? Having social governance that brings this whole, you know, democratization of, of governance models through blockchain is the fundamental quest. The mission here is to create a thematic. So it's like an ETF, like where people will be able to invest into uh, this thematic. Will be only ESG tokens. So that means tokens have to have to be environmentally, you know, carbon neutral. They'll have to as well the decentralized part of the social governance, which is usually how these nodes are run, is their voting mechanism, initiative that could be taken, and that could really reshape the new way how to think, not only into crypto but in the way we interact as humans. Living hard times or having a lot of different cycles is definitely something that you know we have to realize that. We might be in summer, we might be in winter, but what we're doing is having a fundamental change on what's the future. And the future, you know, is what you believe. And that the difference between someone that is ordinary and extraordinary is that later extra. So become a hero, become a shiro, and believe in crypto. <laughs> Thank you so much to Alex and Cyrus Fazel of Swissborg for decrypting the crypto finance space here at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. Bye, everyone. Partizia Blockchain, infrastructure for the greater good.